do you want to continue to reveal to me why I don't need to respect you as a songwriter? So musically, I think you can hear, I was listening to Scott Weiland a lot that year. Um, I was obsessed with his um, Happy and Galoshes album, his second album. And he's one of my favorite vocalists. So that and STP, I think you can hear that kind of grunge influence in this tune. This is the first time I started to experiment with chord shapes, familiar chord shapes up and down the neck of the guitar. So this one is really all built around that C. Let's see if I can say, get another camera. It's really built around that C7 shape. So like, even though this is the, this is the shape, that, that chord, and that's the C7, it's really the whole song is built on bring that up the neck. So, so uh, I can look outside and then down. Say I'm down inside, smoke and maybe got them. Come on, it's on a holiday, but you know that it's okay. We got enough activity to cure us of boredom. So it's like all, it's the that same shape all the way up. So as I said, I think I pointed this out to uh, to David at one point for a mama because it has a similar experience where there's there's common shapes that move up and down the neck. David pointed out, he goes, so do you want to continue to reveal to me why I don't need to respect you as a songwriter? Um, but at the time, uh, I think a lot of guitarists that are experienced get comfortable with that and, you know, use that for soloing, all, the, all these kinds of things. But... I still wouldn't consider myself an experienced guitarist. So thanks for watching as always. You can check this song out on uh, Play This Song When, whenever I posted that a couple days ago. And uh, Wrong Organ is also available on Bandcamp. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.